well spoken subhasita sutta this i have heard on one occasion the blessed one was dwelling at savatthi in the jetas grove anatha pindika park there the blessed one addressed the bhikkhus thus bhikkhus bante the bhikkhus replied the blessed one said this bhikkhus when the speech for its four factors it is well spoken not bad is spoken and it is blameless and irreproachable by the wise what for here a bhikkhu speaks only what is well spoken not what is badly spoken he speaks only dhamma not non dhamma he speaks only what is pleasing not what is displeasing he speaks only what is true not lies when speech possesses these four factors it is well spoken not badly spoken and it is blameless irreproachable by the wise this is what the blessed one said having said this the fortunate one the teacher for the said this well spoken speech is best the good say speak dhamma not non dhamma that is second speak what is pleasing not displeasing that is third speak the truth not lies that is fourth then when the vangisa rose from his seat arranged his upper robe over the shoulder and having reverently saluted the blessed one said to him an inspiration has come to me blessed one an inspiration has come to me fortunate one the blessed one said then express your inspiration vangisa the venerable vangisa then extolled the blessed one to his face with suitable verses one should utter only such speech by which one does not torment oneself no cause injury to others that speech truly is well spoken one should utter only pleasant speech speech that is gladly welcomed one should speak words that brings nothing bad speech that is pleasing to others truth indeed is deathless speech this is an ancient principle the good and the dhamma good people say are established upon truth the speech that the buddha utters for the attainment of nibbana the secure for making an end to suffering is indeed the supreme speech 